There are many ways to set up simple proportions, but the reason I've been going through the method that I've been using is because it tends to generalize better. When you get to more difficult problems, figuring it out in terms of this constant and setting up the equation works so much better. And really, the more complicated problems just have more in them. The way you solve it basically remains the same, which is again why I like this method. So the strength of a wooden beam varies directly with its width and the square of its thickness and inversely with its length. Okay, before I do anything here, let's set up some variables. Let's say S is the strength. See, it's width, W is an obvious thing. Thickness, we'll go ahead and use T. And length, we'll use L. So, let's try and set up the equation. And really, it's just a matter of taking it step by step. Consider each one separately here. You only need one constant, though. In the end, I'm trying to figure out the load or the support, the strength. So I'm trying to find an equation for S. It says it varies directly with its width. OK, directly is multiplied. So I've got K times W. But it's not just the width. It's also the square of its thickness. OK, but directly is multiplied. so. I'm just going to keep multiplying the thickness, and it's the thickness squared, it says. But then it says it's inversely with its length. Inversely is divided, so I'm going to divide by L. I've got a more complicated equation. I've got more variables in there, but I still attack it the same way. I first want to figure out what that K is. Then, once I know what K is, then I can use it to figure out what I need in the end. So what can I do to figure out K? The strength, it can support a load that's 375 pounds. I don't know what K is. I know the W is 2. The T is 6, but that has to be squared. And then divided by 96. Okay, let's go ahead and do some math here. Uh, multiply both sides by 96 first. So, uh, I don't know what 96 times 375 is. I hope I can figure this out in a second. And that's going to give me K times 2 times 6 times 6. I could multiply that out, but I think we can make our lives a little bit easier by doing it one step at a time. Let's see, if I divide both sides by 6, 96 divided by 6 is 16. Uh, I can divide both sides by 2. That would make that an 8. Uh, then I can divide by 6 again, but that's a little uglier. 6 goes in, uh, let's see, I can cancel a 2 out of there, leaving with a 4 and a 3, and a 3 out of there, leaving 125. So 125 times 4 left is 500 is K. Now that I know what K is, now I just do the same old thing. I can go ahead and plug in my new numbers. The strength I'm looking for has to be my K of 500 times my new width is 3.5 times my thickness is 8, but that's squared, and divide by 128. Let's see here. 8 squared is 64. 64 goes into 128 twice, uh, 2 goes into 500, 250, 250 times 3.5 is the same thing as 120, 
five times seven would be uh, 700 and 875 pounds. Obviously, that's a lot easier with a calculator. I just didn't want to pull one out right here. But as you see, the big thing is getting the equation set up using that language. If it's directly proportional, it's multiplied. If it's inversely proportional, it's divided. And once you've got the equation, then everything's straightforward.